Welcome back. Let's talk about rolling out, cutting out, and baking our cookie dough. So most recipes for sugar cookies in particular will call for you to take your dough. They usually tell you to form it into a disc like this and then wrap it in plastic and put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And then when you take it out of the refrigerator, it is like rock hard because the butter re-solidifies and so it ends up being super hard. And I just don't know how you can roll out cookie dough when it's that hard. What we do is we just kind of flip flop that whole process. And we take our dough when it's straight from the mixer. So it's still soft and it's easy to roll at that point. It just doesn't take as much elbow grease to be able to roll it out. So I have about a third of the dough here and I have it on a piece of parchment and then I'm going to put some sticks next to it. These sticks are part of a set. These are called pastry rulers and they used to be called perfection strips and they work the same way. And so I'm going to put the one that is a quarter of an inch thick right to the side of my dough. I use these other ones for other types of cookies. So if I'm wanting to roll out thinner cookies or pie dough or other things, I definitely find uses for the thinner ones as well. And I want to make sure that my rolling pin sits right on top of it. So notice my rolling pin is sitting right here. So this is one of the, what I call aha moments in class. Do you get what the sticks are gonna do for me? They are gonna make sure that every bit of my dough is that same thickness. So I roll it most of the way without my second piece of parchment. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put that second piece of parchment on. And now I can really roll it. A little pro tip, if you're wanting to make sure that it's not gonna move around on your counter like, I, like it was just doing on me, Put a little bit of, of water underneath. So if I did this and took my damp cloth right here and now put this back, my parchment is not gonna move around on me. So now I can really roll it. All right, there we go. So now it's all a quarter of an inch thick. So take this, take your, your rulers out. I do like to refrigerate it. So what we do, we take this, we put this onto a sheet pan, put this into the fridge, even if it's just half an hour in the fridge. It makes such a difference because it just makes it so much easier to cut out your cookies. Going into the refrigerator has nothing to do with what keeps the cookies from spreading. What keeps the cookies from spreading is all part of the recipe, but going into the refrigerator just makes cutting out a little bit easier. And you're gonna see I'm gonna struggle with it a little bit because I don't have any dough that's from the refrigerator. So I'm gonna be cutting mine straight from, straight from room temperature. And it'll work, but it's just not quite as easy. All right, so, so let's play like this came from the refrigerator. I'm going to take off the top sheet and I'm gonna peel this away and then I'm gonna turn it over and that way it's not stuck on the top. And then I'm going, going to hold both corners and I'm gonna flip the whole thing over. I'm gonna peel this away and I always use this sheet onto my, onto my sheet pan because then I can bake my cookies right on there. So no waste of parchment here. And then you're gonna cut out your cookies. So if your dough is cold, it will come up into your cutter. My dough is not cold, so it's gonna stay right here on the parchment. You can see it lifts up and that's fine. But if it was cold, it would come up into my cutter and that would make it super easy to take it over and then just punch it out right onto my parchment lined baking sheet. Now I'm gonna have to peel this up and peel my cookies away you know, for my cupcakes, that's fine. If I was making like a spider or an octopus or something, you know, a little bit more involved, that would be much more difficult. But for these, that's absolutely fine. 
and I'm going to move my sheet pan over here so that you can see how close I have my cookies. Remember I talked about these cookies not spreading and so you can put them very close together. They're not even quite a finger apart and that's fine because they're not going to spread or puff at all. So these will go into a 350 degree oven and so they will go into an oven that is already preheated. That's the really important part. And then you want to bake them until they're just barely golden on the edge. And so that's what you're looking for is that barely golden color. And when you touch them uh, coming out of the oven, they'll feel firm. And that's what you're looking for. And, uh, and then the nice thing about this dough is that they actually will stay fresh for a long, long time. So this, these cookies, once they're baked, will stay fresh for 10 days. So don't feel like you have to make them the day of an event or the day before. You can make them definitely in advance and be able to go from there. All right, so from here, we are going to be going on to actually working with our icing and we're finally gonna get to decorating our cookies. So the next video is going to be coloring icing and making piping bags.